Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and today we're making dog food. Now I have a lot of freezer burnt stuff from the bottom of my freezer. So I'm just putting them in these canning pots and I'm going to add some water and I'm going to pressure cook them at 10 pounds pressure for 90 minutes. So now it's the next day and the stuff in the uh, meat in my canner has sat overnight and cooled down. And in my crock pot here, I've got a quart jar of just plain rice. And I'm just gonna add two quarts of cold water. Now, normally I don't advocate canning rice, folks, because it turns to a sticky mess. But in this case, I'm going to cook it first on low in the crock pot and that will swell it up. Then when I add it to the meat and the broth it will just make a sticky food mess. It'll be basically meat and rice which is a good combo for dogs. I'm going to also add in some dehydrated carrots just for added nutrition. Okay so here's our cooked rice and carrots. Again, I have to specify, folks, please cook the rice. Don't put dry rice in with your meat and broth. Um, it, you won't be able to judge how full to do it. Here's our first canner of meat, and I have strained it so that the broth is going into a pot, and now I'm just going to separate it from the bone and put it in with the rice. Okay, so I'm just, some of this stuff is like these old venison pepperettes that are a couple of years old and they've been cooked so I'm just going to cut them up into bite-sized pieces and anything else that I found in my fridge. I still have more. I'm ashamed to admit folks that I did not listen when someone warned me that the paper and parchment, the butcher paper and the parchment wrap, someone warned me wasn't going to be enough and I didn't listen and this is the result but waste not want not this will make excellent dog food for Gracie okay folks so here it is close to 30 pounds of chicken ham turkey and rice and carrots here is our broth that's been in the fridge overnight and it's completely gelled so I'm heating it up and yes, I'm going to leave the fat on because it's not going to hurt Gracie one little bit. I'm going to can these in half pint, maybe a couple of pint jars, but half pint jars for one simple reason. Is right now she gets kibble, but you know, I can always open two. Sometimes a pint would be too much for Gracie at this point. I can always give her two as she gets older. I have the recommended amount of water in my canner with a splash of white vinegar to keep my jars from clouding. And all I've done is put my lid inserts in a pot with hot tap water, nothing else because I don't trust the new seals. So let's get started. Okay, so we've got our funnel here. And I am not really measuring anything, I'm just stuffing some meat in there. This combination is approximately 60% meat, 30% rice, and 10% broth. Now folks, I am canning rice, yes. However, the rice is already cooked. Now it is not recommended that you can rice for one simple reason, is because it, after it gets watered, the water or the, the liquid gets in it, it turns to a, a jelly like mush. It, it wouldn't be good for anything except dog food. Now, we filled our jar from to one inch from the top and we are always, always, always wiping the rim with a piece of paper towel and water. Lid, lid, and into the canner it goes. Let's do that again because I forgot to talk to you about debubbling and everything. So, I'm actually filling this with my hands because these chunks of meat are so big. We'll make sure I get a little bit of rice in there. 
Now folks, if you're doing this, do not add onions of any kind. Onions are not good for dogs. Filled it from close to one inch from the top. Add our broth. Always, always, always debubble. Especially when it's you've got rice in here because it will you really need to get all the air bubbles out of that. Wipe the rim of your jar with a clean damp cloth or paper towel. It is no longer recommended that you boil lids or even simmer them. Just hot water, rinse them with hot water. And into the canner this goes. Alright, we'll be back when the canner's full. As you can see, I've barely made a dent in this bowl, but I have approximately 23 half pint jars of dog food. So now I'm going to put the lid on and we'll be right back. Now I am venting and when this is a steady stream of steam I will vent it for 10 minutes. I'll set my timer and then I will process it with 10 pounds pressure for 95 minutes. Okay this has been venting a steady stream of steam for 10 minutes and we're going to put our weight on it. As soon as this starts to jiggle we're going to set our timer for minutes, and then we're going to turn it as soon as it starts to jiggle, we're also going to turn it down to between medium and maximum. Okay, folks, this is all the dog food I got that I made. And I want to show you, this was just what was la left in the bottom. This is why we don't can rice. Because it turns into a big block of muck. Fine for dog food, but not very appetizing for people. This is the Miss Abulfi from our Half Acre Homestead saying if you've got freezer burnt meat and you have animals, make dog food. Nothing goes to waste. Take care. God bless.